Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today I'm going to answer one of those questions out there. What is the best fishing knot? Now, let me frame this in a way where everyone will probably agree with me. If you were only allowed to have one fishing knot that you were ever allowed to use again, what would it be? And if you ask me, that's got to be the uni knot. You can tie different lines together. You can use it to tie your hooks and your lures to your line. We're going to pretend like this paint can key right here is a hook or a lure. And we're just going to feed it through the eye of that hook. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do a uni knot. You just put them together like that. Definitely need some line for this. Okay? You're going to make a loop. You pinch these together. Just like that. Now you have a loop. Okay? And what you're going to do is just wind this this way four, five, six, seven times. Just depends on what you think you're going to need. But uh, if it's mono to mono or mono to fluorocarbon, you probably don't need but four or five of them. But I'm just going to do three because this has a lot of friction. This is basically just a, shoe, a shoelace, and I just want to show you how it works. So here we go. We're going to go through there. One, two, three times. And then all you're going to do is cinch it down. Gives you this nice, pretty little knot. See, we only went through there three times, so you can imagine if it was four or five, you'd have a, these other ones, other coils in there. Just a nice, pretty knot. And then all you do is you pull on your hook or your, or your uh, lure, and it's just going to cinch right down. And it's going to be one of the strongest knots that there is. Just like this. Bingo, bango. Then you just cut off your little end there once you're done with your uni. Now I'm going to show you how to do a double uni. And all that is is you tie in one like this and you tie another one like this. And the knots are just going to come and slide right down into each other. Making a very, very ultra strong way to tie your braid to your uh, a braided line to your leader material or a mono line to your leader material. But it's extremely, extremely strong. And I'm going to show you that next. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what happens when you put two uni knots together and how you can join uh, your, a leader material to braid or mono that you're fishing with. So say, let's say this is leader material here, the orange one. It could be fluorocarbon, mono, whatever. And let's pretend like uh, this black one is going to be braided line for this, for this uh, demonstration. Alright, let's tie the one from the... Um, coming from the reel first. So we got them both together just like this. All you're gonna do is make a loop. Got a loop like that. And then all you're gonna do, now if this was really braided line and I was really tying it to a leader, I would go through here 10 or 12 times. But, uh, because, and the reason you do that is because braid has such a small amount of friction. But this is just a demonstration, and I don't think I could pull them tight if I did it 12 times because there's so much uh, friction here. So I'm going to put it through maybe three times. One, two, three. All right? And then all you do is pull tight. Pull tight. And it's going to make you this nice, pretty little uni knot. All right? So there's one of them. You got the uni knot tied from the reel. So now you're going to take the uh, tag in that you have here from your leader material, fluorocarbon, mono, whatever, and you're just going to repeat the process. So you put the two together, you make your loop just like this, and then you got to bring this through there heading that way. So we're going to do it three times again. One, two, three. Again, let me stress, you have got to do it a lot if you're tying braid to mono or, or <laughs> you're not won't hold. So I'm talking 10 or 12 times if this was real and this was actually a braided line you were tying to. 
Then you just cinch down your, your loop knot again. Look at that. Nice little pretty knot. Imagine it had a bunch more coils to it if it was a real one. And then all you do is you take the leader end. You take the end that is tied to your actual uh, fishing pole. And you just pull. And these knots are going to slide together just like this. And create one of the strongest knots that there is in fishing because as the fish pulls on the leader it makes these knots snug together more so instead of getting looser they get tighter and tighter and tighter as there is more pressure exerted upon these so if I only had one knot I could ever ever use ever again it would be a uni knot because you can use it to tie all your leaders to your lines and you can use it to tie all your hooks and everything else to your line so there you have it. That's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.